in terms of institution, India is the single largest system of higher education found anywhere in the world. Uh, more than a thousand universities, more than 40,000 colleges, standalone institutions. So we are a very, very large system of higher education, teaching to about 36.5 million students. There are in fact three concerns that we have in our country. One is the expansion. The other one is making higher education inclusive and of course focusing on quality. So there are various measures, first of all, about the quality assessment, quality assurance, quality monitoring. So there are national level agencies. We have also launched uh, national ranking frameworks. So these are all galvanizing the higher education to focus towards higher education. Recently, there have also been plans and schemes already put in place where you incentivize universities which rise up on the ladder of quality. So like uh, the idea of graded autonomy. So those universities which do better need to have more flexibility. So the, that could be provided. Similarly, the identification of the institutions of eminence. So these are all the methods and the instrument that we are using. Of course, uh, investments and the public investment in higher education is a challenge. We are spending about 4% of our GDP on education and close to around 1% of the GDP is being spent on higher education. Uh, but then the demand is that this should rise to about 6% of the GDP for education as a whole and to at least 2% of the GDP to education as a whole. We have also realized that uh, global linkages and international collaborations are important for promoting quality and also for sharing of the best practices, both within the country and also uh, learning from abroad. So we have launched schemes like uh, the teachers in foreign universities are invited for short durations to teach a course and then connect with the faculty and the university where they are. Similar collaboration exists for uh, research degrees. Of course, the student exchange, student mobility are permitted. Private sector has been playing a major role in the expansion of higher education. For example, today out of a thousand universities, around 350 universities would be in the private domain. Uh, in colleges, almost 60% of the colleges are in private domain. If we go by the enrollment, almost uh, 60 to 70% enrollment is in the private sector. So private sector is playing a very important role. Uh, the concerns about promoting quality across the board, both uh, within the public system and also in the public, uh, privately funded universities uh, is the focus. So we cannot afford to ignore any of these two uh, sectors though that's happening. In terms of public-private partnerships, there have been some specific institutions and there are policies already in place whereby either a bipartite that uh, the central government and uh, a private partner could come together to establish institutions or there could be tripartite that the federal government, the provincial government and the private player could uh, come together for the establishment of these schools. If by public-private partnership you mean industry, so India as you know is the sixth largest economy presently. So we have a large base uh, in the services sector, in the manufacturing sector, in the trading sector. So uh, universities and industries are coming closer. Uh, many universities are coming forward to engage with and involve industry in the design and development of the curricula. Many universities also take uh, uh, professors of practice kind of a things whereby the practitioners from the industry could come and teach. Similarly, the teachers are also being encouraged to go 
and connect with the industry. So this industry university connect is also in place. So India has a remarkable potential. We have a very long uh, tradition of higher education. Uh, the uh, fact that none of our universities are appearing amongst the top 100 universities of the world uh, could be because our universities have not been focusing on that dimension until very recently. But now they are throwing up their data, throwing up uh, the information, uh, opening up their information uh, access and they are gradually uh, rising in the ladder. Uh, yes, uh, to have a few world-class universities is a matter of pride and prestige, so we would certainly want to do that. But uh, we also recognize and realize that these world-class universities can account for 1% of the enrollment, while our responsibility is for all 100% of those who go for higher education and who teach in higher education institutions. Mm -hmm.